So on the Spike TV Vince McMahon stuff, Vince McMahon came out to open the September 26th Raw, the last Raw on Spike, not realizing he was going head to head with the most well-known accepted mainstream star he ever created, The Rock, who was cutting his own brand of introductions on Monday Night Football. McMahon talked about how his, this was the final episode of Raw on Spike. He noted that five years ago, Raw came from USA to the Nashville Network, which then became the National Network, which then became Spike TV, and said over the five years, both sides have grown. He thanked Spike for the partnership, and then said next week they were coming home to USA Network. Spike then pulled the sound so that he couldn't <laughs> say the words USA Network. That's awesome. It was well known that Spike had told WWE that they could plug the October 3rd show all they wanted. But then they said, psych! <laughs> Well, like, they, they were adamant that they couldn't say USA. They were like, they could say next week on Raw, they could say what was on it, and they could even say this was the last show on Spike, but they couldn't say, like, USA Network. Which, to me, sounds pretty reasonable. I don't know, I think it's petty, but I'm for it, though. But, like, they're directly competing with you starting next Monday. I, I'm perfectly fine with them being like, no, you cannot say where you're airing next week, because All right, Gap. that competes with us. You own a restaurant. Yes. Right? Mm. And on the last day of your chef, your, your your main chef working in your restaurant, he's going around to the table and saying, just so you know, next week I'll be starting at this restaurant. I would kick the dude the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the idea that Spike are the petty ones for being like pretty reasonable for them, like being, you can plug it, you can say this is the last show on Spike, people can work out where the fuck they're go you're going from there, but you, you can't say it on air. And then they still went out there and said it. And Spike are the petty ones for cutting the sound? Nah, fuck you off. You know what? That being said, I do think what Vince did was petty, but again, I don't give a shit. I think it's funny. <laughs> so. Oh, like, I don't blame Vince for doing it because he's Vince fucking McMahon. What are they going to do? <laughs> I'm gone next week. They should have, like, literally put up bars and tone for the two hours. <laughs> they should have started playing TNA over. <laughs> they should have. They, they literally should have just cut to, like, the, 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 they're like, hey, send us Unbreakable. We're going to put that on the air. Sound good? <laughs> That would that would have been so good if like they think they're they're running raw but they just play two hours of Unbreakable on TV. <laughs> Tell Vince to get fucked because you didn't agree to the terms. Would they legally be allowed to do that? They'd probably be able to sue, but only for like the cost of the last like three days of the contract. <laughs> Like, if they they feign some technical problem where they're like, we can't stream anything live, we have to put on something taped. Oh yeah, if they bullshit it, they might be able to, but like, it would be And they're like, case. oh, don't worry, we'll put Roar on it, like, midnight. Like, it would be breach of contract, but like, only for the amount WWE paid for that one TV show. I would do it. It would honestly might be worth it, with how many people is Raw doing on, in 2005? Like, four million, I think exposing 4 million people to the product that you're about to run. Which they were doing during the breaks, to be fair. They were doing TNA ads during the breaks. Uh, I might just do it. <laughs> you be like, well, yeah, I'd be like, keep that in your pocket for if Vince mentions USA. Yeah, and then do an immediate switch over. Like, have it on a second feed ready to go with, like, AJ and Joe or some shit. Mm. They put up technical difficulty video edits when they attempted to show posters about the move to USA. Then a few minutes later, Jonathan Coachman, who obviously is the voice of Vince in the headset string Raw, went into a tirade about censorship that was also sound edited. <laughs> they censored the rant about censorship. <laughs> Fucking, I take it all back at Owens, actually. <laughs> Before he told fans uh, to go to W.com to hear Vince McMahon's unedited promo. Okay, I'm sorry, I have another point. Mm -hmm. If this can't be classified as breach of contract, like <laughs> fucking with the live show, you can just show the fucking Unbreakable three-way. <laughs> Mm, mm. It would be even funnier if they put Raw, like, in the lower third, <laughs> like it was a reaction video. Yeah. <laughs> and then just play the Unbreakable 2000 <laughs> match just over it. <laughs> it's like, pal, we aired Raw. Look at it. It's right there in the corner of the screen. <laughs> you never you never specified how big the Raw <laughs> tape had to be. Mm. They were then remembered a strategy that WCW wrestlers used to use on TNT when they wanted to swear, where they'd basically swear multiple times in a row, one would get bleeped, and then you'd get the swear through on the back end of the bleep. Mm -hmm. So they're like, USA Network, USA Network, USA Network, to try and get it past the censors. <laughs> I thought they were going to start going like, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Eventually they reach a ceasefire after like an hour and a half where they're like, fine, you can mention fucking USA. Come on. 
That would have been so funny. They really should have fucked with them more and just put DNA on the screen. If you want to get around it, like, in those ad break sections, just start playing full matches. <laughs> <laughs> just Monty squashes for the entire ad yeah. break. Yeah. <laughs> I think your advertisers might have an issue with that, but I think it's a no, good if, idea. No, put them in the place of where you're going to put the TNA ads anyway. Mm. You can get a Monty squash in there. They're only 90 seconds. Yeah. Um, yeah, once the relationship ended with that role, uh, they then removed all mention of WWE from the website, put a plug to Impact on the front page, and then the plug stated, Sprite brings you the new wrestling alternative TNA Impact. Delivers a distinct brand of high-risk live athletic entertainment. TNA's roster includes some of the most exciting and recognizable stars in wrestling today, such as Jeff Jarrett, Raven, <laughs> Jeff Hart, Hardy, AJ Styles, Abyss, Sean Waltman, mm -hmm. Christopher Daniels, Monty Brown, and others. Plus the X-Division six-sided ring, Ultimate X King of the Mountain, six sides of steel. So that is like the, the, the end of our pretty en en endless slate of news about Spike. <laughs> We're not even done the news. That's just the end of the Spike news. 